After making her first stop in Paris, she's spent the last few days heading to the beautiful Swiss mountains. Well, she joins us now live from Interlaken. Good morning to you, Laura. What are you up to? Good morning, look at this. Yes, I'm in Interlagen in Switzerland at the foothills of the Young Frauge Glaciers. Look at them there in the background. It is, it's like I'm in a postcard. It's probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever visited. And it's, a, it's an outdoor lover's paradise. You've got hikers that come here, skiers that come here and people that like paragliding. It's one of the most popular things to do. So I thought when I arrived, I've got to give it a go. Now I am a bit of an adrenaline junkie, but I was nervous. I was nervous as we took flight, but it was unbelievably worth it. The views up there were spectacular. I, I just, one of the most memorable experiences, to be honest. But this morning I'm taking things down, a, you know, a notch or two, and I'm enjoying something else they like to do here. They go hiking and they enjoy a Swiss fondue. So I thought, you know, I've got to give it a try. And, mm. It is tasty, it is tasty. I mean, what an amazing location to be doing this in. Let's talk about my adventure so far then. So I started off in Paris and I've jumped train to train. I've ended up in Switzerland. Now, Great Rail Journeys, who have um, sent me on this adventure, have said that one in three people, they want to enjoy their journey to their destination as well as the destination itself. And I tell you what, it has been unbelievably memorable. Check this out. Vast valleys, dramatic waterfalls and sheer mountain peaks, Switzerland is a truly magical country. And one of the best ways to get around and take in these incredible natural sights is by train, which is why many rail journeys here are considered to be the most scenic in the world. There's a historic Jungfrau railway line that takes visitors to Europe's highest railway station. And then there's the world famous Glacier Express also known as the slowest express train in the world, as it takes eight hours to travel 300 kilometers across the Swiss Alps. But the train I'm hopping on board today is set to become one of the most legendary trains in Switzerland. All aboard the Golden Pass Express. I'm traveling from Montreux on the shoreline of Lake Geneva, three hours to Interlaken, at the foothills of the young Frau Jok glaciers. There might be snow on the ground outside, but my bottom is nice and toasty because these seats are heated. And with the panoramic windows to take in the magnificent surroundings, you certainly aren't going to get bored on your journey. Oh, champagne with a view? I don't mind if I do. It's even A-lister approved, as this new train was inaugurated by the one and only Shania Twain. And in her honour, it's of course been renamed the Shania Train. That don't impress me much. Well, that might not impress her much, but this view certainly impresses me. But if this modern life isn't for you, there's an alternative train you can catch. From the new, now, back to the old. Oh wow, this really is like going back in time. Come and take a look. The next train on my journey is the Golden Pass Classic, which recreates the Belle Epoque style of the luxurious Golden Mountain Pullman Express, which was in service during the 1930s. I'm constantly moving seats on this train because wherever you sit, you get a different view. They are all breathtaking, and I just want to soak it all up. Beautiful inside and epic views outside. Yep. This will do nicely. Absolutely amazing. I mean, this is bucket list stuff. I could have stayed on that train, but then I wouldn't have made the most of these views or made my new friends. <laughs> Alphorn. Yes. The Alphorn. Now it's it's made here in Switzerland. It's around ten feet long, um, and apparently you get fifteen notes out of it if you're any good. I, I'm not sure I'll even get one, but I'm going to give it a go. Can I see how heavy it is? No, it's not too heavy. Oh no, it really it's not heavy at all. Is it difficult to play though? No. 
You want to try it? Of course. So this is Jasmine. <laughs> this is my mouthpiece. Yeah, oh. I'm gonna gonna give it a go. Just literally, just blow. Go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I don't know why you're laughing. I'm, right. Here we go. <laughs> Hang on. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> oh my word! That is absolutely horrendous. 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 <laughs> um, I'm gonna leave it. I'll take that back. I'm gonna leave it uh, to the pros. Look, I, I'm only in Switzerland for a little while longer now before I jump on board another train and I'm heading to Italy. So the next time you see me, hopefully I'll be enjoying some pasta and some limoncello. But um, as I said, I'm gonna leave. Leave it to the professionals. And um, come on, play some little tune then. Off you go. <laughs> Hit it. <laughs> I might get the album. Oh, yeah, you should. It's amazing what they can do with 15 notes. Isn't it, just? Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Um, how beautiful was that train, by the Stunning. way? Stunning. So nice. I want to go on that. Yeah, that is a really good one. Thank you. We'll see you in Italy next time.